Hi everyone, so this video I'm going to be opening the next sketch box. I didn't get last month's um, due to a little mix up, but I got I got this month's box and I'm excited to see what's inside. I already took a peek, but I haven't fully looked at anything, so I'm just too, I'm always too excited to see what's inside. So this is a toned blue mixed media pad. So here is a brush, silver white brush in a half inch. Let's open it. It's a synthetic brush, it's white. Not sure exactly what the whole idea of this box is yet. Oh, a new white Posca, this is awesome. I've been wanting to buy one, so this is good. <laughs> now this is the real, it's some kind of water brush. I'm um, not sure exactly what it's meant for. And here's a little thing of ink. It's calligraphy ink in super black. It's very small. And we have white. So I think you're meant to do a black and white drawing on the toned paper. So white ink. And what's this? It's wrapped very well. Oh, it's graphite acrylic ink. I've never tried acrylic ink before. This is to shake well. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. It's graphite acrylic ink. What is the Amsterdam? Cool. <laughs> There's quite a lot in there too. And then we have these black and white pencils. Oh, all surface pencil. And this is water soluble, writes on glass, metal, plastic, and wood. Oh, that's actually really cool. So this is the premium box for August. Here's the artwork, a nice little owl by Aaron Ewer, I think that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. We have the Amsterdam Acrylic Ink, Graphite 2 Speedball Ink in black and white, Posca Fine Tip White, the black general pencil and a white one, the water brush. So you kind of have a bunch of different black and white materials to make this cool black and white mixed media thing on the blue paper. So I think this is going to be fun. And what does this look like? It's kind of strange how the Sketchbox sticker isn't the one for the month, but they probably just don't have, they probably just put whatever sticker in there, but the stickers always feel super good quality. It feels quite oily and or waxy. When you press down on it, it actually um, presses it down a bit. So that's actually really cool. Oh, there we go. This is awesome because I've been wanting to buy this exact pen and now I have it. So this is exciting. I'm gonna just take a little bit off of here and just see what it looks like. So is it supposed to sparkle or is that just the graphite? Or both, I guess. It sparkles because of the graphite. It feels, it has a very interesting feel to it. Yeah, it's like pencil. It looks exactly like pencil, but it's ink which is so cool. Waterproof and dry, highly pigmented ink. You're supposed to shake it before use, which I did. So before I do the rest of this, so before I swatch anything else, I want to protect my desk. So I'm going to also take this off the pad. Now the brush they gave you is huge for this. Um, so in order to get fine lines, we're going to have to use something else. Got ink all over my nail. I hate peeling off things like this. It just never comes off in one piece. <laughs> so someone actually gave me this in the mail, so I wanted to try that with the ink. For ni some nice thin lines. Maybe even a little brush. This one definitely seems more watery. Oh no, they're about the same level of... Well, I actually just added water to the white. Um, yeah, they're both kind of like that. They give you a lot of this graphite ink. I'm gonna put some of it in this palette. And there's a water brush too. There's just so many different things. So I think you're meant to use water with these. And also, these are water-soluble. So you can actually 
like put to use the brush it came with. It's just so big and this paper is so small. Um, yeah, these are also water soluble so you can dissolve them a little bit. It's so weird to have graphite ink so I'm not big on using like sparkly things and this is very naturally shimmery because graphite does that. I forgot I had this otherwise I would have used it <laughs> for the ink. So you can do a lot with these supplies. There's no colors which is kind of disappointing but also sometimes it's good to just do black and white things. So I want to sketch some thumbnails and figure out what I want to draw. Maybe something to do with an owl? I put the lids back on so I don't get the ink everywhere and spill it because I would totally do that. Ink just really likes to spill. So it says that the uh, these pencils are good for going over top of the acrylic ink to add dimension and I think that's a really cool idea. So I want to do something kind of like flowy and illustrative or actually you know what maybe I'll use the back of this to do thumbnails. So a bunch of owls all over, just like kind of blending into each other. Maybe just like a whole collage of just owls all over the place. I should probably be using the more dirty side of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna plan out the basic organization of this. Yeah, something like that. I'm just gonna try, I'm just gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start with white. I'm gonna take the black and just like try to preserve some of the details. I'm trying to like balance up the composition with different owl parts. So there can be like a wing sticking out, maybe a claw. So I'm gonna take an eyedropper to get some of the ink out of these jars. These are mostly barn owls, I'm pretty sure. They're just based off of those. I'm going to use the water brush. Where did it go? Where on earth did it go? There it is. Um, to do most of it because it's the only brush they gave me that's small enough for this um, size. So, maybe I'll start off with the highlights. I'm going to mostly do ink washes, I'm, I guess. This is sort of like a decorative illustration, so it's meant to be like, sort of like a pattern. I'm going to start with the faces. Since this is based off of a barn owl, um, their faces are pretty white, but their wings are more of a dark brown. So that'll be something I do with gray or black. That one probably should have been darker because it's underneath the other one, but man, I really wish I could use colors. <laughs> That's okay. Colors are just too fun, but sometimes colors can really mess you up because there's just so many options and you don't know what the best option is and you might make the wrong choice. Mostly comes out as gray since this is a water brush it's constantly being diluted so you gotta go over it multiple times. I might start going in with some black. Actually maybe that graphite ink.
I'm just not a fan of the graphite ink because from most angles it looks all sparkly, um, but it is cool. Okay, so I have a bit of an ink wash here that I'm going to use. Trying to go in and do the faces. I'm trying to kind of simplify them. Okay, I just need to darken some areas so that they stand out better. Because sometimes it's hard to tell what's in front of what, and I don't want that. I actually really like this water brush. Um, it feels pretty sturdy and the water flows pretty nice. I wish the brush was a little bit thinner, um, but overall any water brush I've tried that wasn't Pentel I just didn't like, but this one actually feels really similar, so I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm getting dangerously close to the overworking phase, so I want to let this dry, go in with the pencils, in the Posca pen and then it should be done and I'm liking how this is turning out. It's like a fun little collage -y thing. Just want to sharpen them so I can actually get some nice lines, some thinner lines because they wear down pretty fast because they're like waxy and water soluble. But I just want to add some details. This is a nice subtle gray. This is good for like thinner lines and it lays on pretty thick because it's um, quite soft. Kind of hard to use because it gets stuck almost on the page. But it works. Like, it just sounds horrible. You kind of have to go slow and you end up like pressing down the tip of it. And I want to use the Posca pen to kind of fix some of the owl's faces. But I don't really know what else I will use this for because the ink, the white ink, could get it pretty opaque. But this is just a little final touch. I'm so glad I have a replacement Posca because my other one ran out and I wanted to buy this exact one and I'm so glad that I have it now. It's just perfect. Okay, I think that's that's it. Um, I had a lot of fun using these black and white supplies because it's not something I'd normally do. And that's why I, um, that's why getting these subscription boxes can be a lot of fun. So thanks to Sketchbox for sending this to me to open and make some art supplies. If you want to grab a Sketchbox, make sure you click the link in the description. They have a premium box and a basic box. So depending on your budget, you can get either. And I've had a basic box before 
and they're actually um, still pretty good. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing me draw. Oh, I just realized one thing I want to do. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me draw a bunch of owls, and I'll see you in my next video.